everybody. Welcome back to another episode. Dogs are barking. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Amanda Freed Homes. Do you think I'm lisping? It's because I am. I think a wisdom tooth is trying to come in. Anyways, I want to talk today about how to get the R House look. I think I'm saying that right. R House. It's a beautiful. Yes. Yes. R House. The worst word to say right now with a lisp. Can't wait to go to the dentist. We're gonna be talking today about how to get the R House look, specifically the Earl Grey. Kind of a weathered uh, look. We are working on this custom piece right now for some clients that saw this particular picture in a catalog. They really like the finish on uh, the table. But I sanded the whole piece down. What I'm doing now is covering the whole thing with a watered down base of paint. It's two parts paint, one part water. I'm just very quickly brushing it on. Normally, uh, this paint would be very opaque. This is very watered down. Very thin coat, just going on real quick. We're just gonna let it sit there and absorb some of the paint. I have here is a damp cloth, and what I'm going to do now is just wipe it away. That's one layer. And you can kind of see, are you in closer? You can see where the white has kind of been absorbed into um, the grain of the wood a little bit. Usually do it until you're happy with the uh, finish. I worked on this yesterday and this is after two or three layers of doing this technique. You can see compared to the drawer how much lighter it is and that is setting up our base that we will then apply the stain to. So that is part one and I'll show you the rest of that. after one coat on the top and it's coming out pretty good. So do it over here on the side and a little bit down here. I am about out of my mixture, so I need to make some more. It's coming along. So we have the whitewashing base completed. The next step is to add the stain mixture that we need to complete the look. We will be applying it with foam brushes, wearing gloves, and wiping it off with a rag. So what we're gonna be using is Minwax's Classic Gray and the Jocko Bean, also by Minwax. We're gonna put the, the, the Classic Gray on first. I may or may not use this weathered oak, but we'll see. Questions? All right, we're gonna move on. really windy today so I'm gonna try and make this quick. So I have been staining the buffet. I ended up not using 
the um, Jaco bean, I used the classic gray, and then I followed it up with the weathered oak. It was still a little too light, as you can see here. Still have some of that red coming through, and I wanted it to be a little darker. So what I decided to do, I don't have any black stain with me. Um, so what I decided to do was actually use some black paint. This is without the black paint. This is just with the classic gray and the weathered oak, and this is with the black paint. Uh, a lot more gray accent coming through. And what I'm doing is I'm literally just brushing it on really quick with one of those foam uh, brushes and then wiping it off with a rag. I'm gonna quickly do this whole piece. It's really cold and really windy. Do you notice anything different? Yes, I went to the dentist finally, and the swelling has really gone down in my mouth. I let the work that I did sit overnight. All it needs is a protective coat, min waxes, polycrylic, uh, water base, and clear mat. I use this for almost all of my projects. I prefer this over using anything that is oil-based. Cleans off your brush a lot easier at the end and uh, dries very quickly. It won't take long to put this on at all. And that is how we get the R House look. The polycrylic clear matte is very uh, subtle. It is not shiny at all. And I'm very happy with the overall look. I took the original hardware and I actually spray painted it uh, black. And then I lightly went over it with a Rust-Oleum bronze metallic spray paint. I really am happy with the results. I feel like I got very, very close to the look that they wanted. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment down below to let me know what you think.